Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. Episode number 31 coming at you. I'm Imperial Jedi, hopefully a familiar voice, sounding a little bit different because we have a new microphone now. Ooh, very exciting. Yeah, I buy myself a new microphone on um, was Amazon Prime Day. Very excited to have it and uh, test it out. So the audio might change over the next episode or two. We'll kind of see how it goes, but hopefully it sounds good right now. And we're back and ready to build. I'm, I'm honestly so excited. So we're starting here. I do want to see some trains finally rolling in this area. Yeah, it's been a while. Welcome back, guys. And actually, hold on. Before I do, we had some really good feedback come in from the um, last episode. I think I need to change a couple things here. I think, yeah, just really quickly here. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Not realizing that this could be an issue with um, pollution later. So I had a few of you pointed that out, so let's get that fixed. And you know what? For fun, let's put another uh, wind turbine over here. Yeah, connect those up. Okay, and um, just a little bit of a sewage issue here. So we're not getting the right pipes going to the right place. These are just the pipes between uh, these two. Okay. And um, I do actually want to make another quick little change. We had another people... Another peoples. We had some more comments come in too about maybe making this a little bit bigger. So let's just let's do something really crazy here. Let's move this over. This is just one of the uh, power plants from the Green Cities DLC. And we'll move that one slightly over. Cool that we can keep it like that. And uh, let's put another uh, nuclear power plant in here. Not that we need it for the sake of generating power. So I'm actually going to turn it off because they are so expensive. But it should look pretty cool. And we can definitely afford the uh, upfront cost right now. Okay, so there we go. Slight, slight changes. But uh, for the better. That was kind of fun, right? Making this Project X. I think that was cool. Maybe we'll do more of these little mysterious things where we're, we'll kind of unfold it as the um, episode goes together, piece it together, and by the end, hopefully you'll know. Okay, so where were we over here? Yes, I do want to see some trains going. Like, I've been staring at this thing, there's just no reason for trucks to, like, make their way over here, so we definitely have to, like, build this oil area up. And uh, also, I don't think we have the way for trains to come in yet. No, we definitely don't. So, uh, what I want to do this episode, which is very ambitious, um, I want to build up the oil field. I want to maybe change some of this road and rail. Definitely address the uh, the in and out here, but I'm trying to think of like how we can do the next rail yard and how we're going to like just, I don't know, tie it into the small town. I do have an idea, so hopefully it comes together. And then, uh, you know, actually, you know, keep it into the theme of, um, of maybe a little bit of a secret. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll give you guys a hint. So over here, calling for some people. Over here is definitely going to be calling for some people, so maybe we can remedy that. Who knows? Okay, so let's see how the episode unfolds, but I have something in mind for that too if time, uh, time permits, and it should be kind of fun, as are all things here. Okay, not that we're speed building, but we do get very distracted, and I have a tendency to not go um, as quickly as I'd like in my mind, so I've been noticing that, so let's try and pick up the pace here. So uh, what we're going to do is create the oil field. That should hopefully start spawning some trucks in. Uh, we'll take an eye and, and look and see how the uh, the cargo trains are going to be interacting with the rail yard, if they are. And uh, we'll just make some changes. Because um, I, I don't know if all the tracks are really working the right way. I want the trains to have like a pretty direct route if they're going to take like a this is a detour. And that'll give us a chance to maybe uh, decorate some of the other stuff. How we're going to do that, I'm not quite sure yet. But we'll we'll see how it, uh, how it unfolds. A lot of these wait and see kind of moments happening right now. Okay, so maybe just to start, we've got another road coming in like this, and then we can kind of split our oil products um, into kind of two zones. We'll have some production and storage over here, and then we'll have um, like most of the oil wells, most of the production on this part. So yeah, let's just do um, let's do secondary. So production will be over here, and then secondary, that'll be things that like um, I'm looking for like convert them over. So we'll get the raw resources here, convert, and then store over there. And actually, it would be kind of nice, uh, just from like a transit perspective, is like, what if we put a park or something over here, had a bus stop here, but let people like walk in? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's get rid of some of these, just for the moment. Let's put that in. That's nice with the crosswalk. And then, yeah, we'll just like box this out. And that gives us a chance to place some of the oversized uh, oil assets. And this can also be another little little box here. So that's that's good for oil land. Oil land. And uh, we'll probably put like one or two dirt roads here too. And we'll see how we end up using that. 
And maybe that's just a little thing too. Okay, now let's put in some pathways so that people can actually use this, and then we'll reconnect the power and just start plopping some buildings. Okay, if we turn off just this and eyeball that, that should be nice. There we go. And honestly, I don't know how much pollution we're going to end up creating, so this may or may not be a fool's errand. Hopefully it's not. Maybe we can avoid uh, polluting this part here, because, you know, it's, even though it's a park and it's an industrial zone, they can be together, right? Who says that they can't? Okay, so that's power going back in. These pathways might not end up staying the whole way, but we'll just uh, use that as a bit of a placeholder. Okay, so oil. What do we got so far to start? Not a lot. We do have some oil pumps. And these things, just like any other producer for the Industries DLC, they're going to make a lot of trucks. So we're not going to go too overboard on them, but maybe this is what we can use the um, the dirt roads for. Okay, so there's a dirt road section over there, and let's put a couple over here. Okay, so let's bring some water out. Maybe not the best job for the uh, for the pipes here. That's okay, though. There we go. Okay, so we can probably get power to these guys by just putting in some uh, service buildings. So, most definitely, we're going to want... I'd say, like, if not, like, one fire station for there, maybe, like, a big one for over here, too. That's kind of an interesting thought, right? You know, it's probably too close to the producers, so let's put these over here. And that'll get the power going, too. But yeah, another strategy you can use is just one-way roads if you find that you have too many trucks being spawned from uh, the industry buildings you're trying to place down. Okay, so two producers. Or two sets of producers. And uh, oil sludge. That's our first one. So we can put some of these up here. And this this pollutes? It does. Okay, so this is what we want to try to keep away from, uh, from here. It's got to be inside the industrial area. It doesn't necessarily have to be up here. Yeah, maybe we just put storage up there. Hmm. Seem to be rethinking everything. Okay, so let's put this down here. Yeah, and then so storage can be up here. <clears throat> Actually, it's not a bad... Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Yep, it's a good size asset. And then these things I don't think pollute, so I think we should be okay to put these down. Pollution zero. Perfect. And why don't we put a couple of these right here? Perfect. And then just to help with the terrain back here, let's see if we can just maybe get lucky and just do a little bit of smoothing out. Mm, not quite. That's better. Just pushing that a little bit further back. Okay, so a little rural police station might be nice over here. Not that crime is at all an issue. A little clinic. You know, accidents happen at work. Let's put that near the fire station. And then we'll put uh, some death care over here as well. And that actually looks kind of nice, especially with these two uh, rooftops together. I really noticed that. Good little uh, pairing. Okay, so we do have some activity. We see trucks coming out as well. That's actually pretty promising. So let's do a couple more pieces in here so we can get the rest of this. Um, talking to each other, and you know, actually, might be kind of fun. Is if what do you? What if we do a secondary district? Let's see, it's the wrong one. And then, it's, oh, there's a train going. Oh, cool. Let's pause for a second. Where are you going? Well, you only have one route, so we pretty much know where you're going. Yeah, check this out. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's really cool. So we spawned our first uh, cargo train from there. Oh, that's so cool. It's a full train, too, eh? Good for us. Now, I wonder if this one's actually going to go to the um, the next cargo depot. Oh, that'd be so fantastic if it did. No way. Are we really going to see this happen? No way. Perfect music to go with it, too, eh? 
I think it is actually going to the other cargo depot. So that means we'll get a lot of function if we connect more of these uh, rails together. Oh, a little bit of jump right there. Did we make it so that there's only one way in those? This might just actually be going to the region. Oh, I got so excited there. Yeah, so we need to connect it from the other way. Okay, I understand. Okay, challenge. Challenge accepted. Yeah, so what I was thinking before, right, with the uh, small town, is I want to have like kind of like a stereotypical small town. So we have like the highway that turns into the main street, and it's one nice long straight stretch. Oh, let's change this over. <clears throat> yeah, I want just like one long straight stretch, and I want to have a train station, and then the rails also follow in um, kind of like parallel to that. And then maybe the rails become a bridge so we can have um, uh, some, you know, not cut the city off too much. And then that gives us a chance to, like, you know, tie it in. And then if we link this way, we can have cargo trains go bi-directionally. And so if they want to leave the region, they can go out the way we just went. But if they want to go back into the cargo depot here, they can go the other way. So that should be pretty, pretty cool. And that's kind of what I'm after. Like, I wanted to see, like, trains just moving. Like, just seeing all these empty rails makes my heart empty. Let's fill this up, you know? Okay. So uh, let's, let's get this connected. Let's get back on board here. And this is supposed to be a specialized industrial zone with some oil. And that's just regular specialization. Cool. Look at all the traffic, too. So this is really starting to come together. And then let's get one more uh, piece of the pie in here to get the power going over. I might throw in one more sludge. Just to get some more production. And then I've done this in the past where I've put like one or two um, office buildings here. It's kind of like a slight um, like admin kind of feel. Just do a little bit commercial with it too. Same idea as before. Not like this is your favorite place to shop or anything, but just give us a little bit of um, you know local local something to do here. And then just for the moment, let's bring uh, power across with, uh, with these guys. These might end up staying just because they look really good, especially in the... Uh, in the industry zones. Did I just miss that I did? There we go. That's actually kind of nice. Okay, so now we have enough vehicle traffic that we are getting people in, out. We got uh, trains spawning, which is fantastic. We just gotta get trains coming in. And I would like to complete this to help uh, more of the truck friends. And then also, you'll kind of see what I have in mind. I think we have the time for it. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's in there. It's in the cards. Okay, so we gotta move fast. Let's turn this off. After we anchor. Okay, I may have to change that part. Ooh, actually, maybe not. Well, how about that? That is a nice-looking bridge right there, isn't it? Okay, we're keeping that. I don't think it's too off-sided. Yeah, no, that's fine with me. Okay. And then, how's the rails? I think, actually, I'm going to change this a little bit, the profile. <clears throat> so, what I'm envisioning now is oops, this going a little bit closer to the coast. That's nice of that bridge. And then, I don't really know if I want to be, like, straight with the city head-on, but I think, like, the main street of the city, for the small town at least, is going to be something kind of, like, to this effect. Maybe in a straight shot with the, uh, with the coast. So it's possible, yeah, I don't really know if I like that. Does it feel like it's off by, like, one degree? I don't know. Let me see here. Let me zoom out. That's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, so we can transition these together. What a charming little end of that song, too, isn't it? Yeah, and so how do we make that transition look a little bit cleaner? Maybe if we switch, like, one road type in between. Oh, yeah, this actually might look kind of cool.
Hmm. What do you think, guys? I don't know. It's not that we're really going to be building a lot right now over in the small town, but just trying to get uh, some placeholders. And then, yeah, what I was thinking, like, just a train station, right? And then this would become a bridge. And then that way we don't like cut off the city. We can have the uh, the roads kind of continue back in and connect over to here, right? That's probably a little bit too tall, but you, you get the idea. Okay. So you can just hang out here. Don't really need you that right now. And then the rails. Okay, so we need a really complicated, extra fun way for the one-way system to work, just because. And so what if we... Oh, man, this will be crazy talk. I hope we aren't going to run into problems with um, with traffic, but I actually have a really, I'm going to call this a unique idea, but I think it's going to work. We just need a little bit of space first. Okay, so I'm going to stretch this out slightly like this. That will go straight. And then I think what we're going to do is try to fit the other rail yard in here. And then I'm going to kind of branch this off down into, uh, into here, and then we'll have a bypass as well. Okay, so I need that to kind of look like it splits. And where is it? There it is. So that's the way for us to go in. And then coming from this way, I wasn't planning on putting all this in right now, so we're going to maybe revisit this, you know? And so that would just be, oh boy, see what I mean? Oh boy, one thing leading to another here. Okay, really quickly. How do we end up over here? This is not what I wanted to do. I think that sounds kind of, it's fun doing that though, right? The little unplanned uh, excursions and adventures that we take in the city. Okay, so back down to ground level. And then this would just uh, link up over here. That's fantastic. If the bridge was a, a little bit wider, maybe we'd go in over to here. But this is pretty cool nonetheless, I think. And then, you know, there's, there's some options. We can maybe connect this too. And then just a, like a bypass. That's kind of the other thing I was looking for here. And this one might have a, a level crossing or two, and this will just like link back up over to here. Yeah. And then somewhere in between is going to be a bit of a rail yard. And I, you know, I'll take a look. I think that's the angle I want, though. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's like sort of symmetrical, not quite. We have a bit of a curb. It's not really flowing too much on straight. We have the ability now to kind of cross through the town, have a little bit of level crossings on the outskirts where traffic won't be so busy. That's fun. Okay, so too much small town was done today, but I like this so much already. So this is really, really awesome. We will definitely come back and work on this some more. Okay, so we'll save the um, that part of the rail yard for later. But let's, uh, let's connect this in. Let me show what I have in mind, too. This is either, I don't know, either crazy or this is, this is brilliant. We'll, we'll know in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. Anchor. Side note, this is one of my favorite Surviving Mars um, soundtrack songs. Oh, can we go through that piece? Oh, no way. When you see this, you're either going to be like, my god, you're brilliant, or like, what are you doing? Hopefully it's, uh, maybe it makes a boat. Yeah, it's like, can we curve this? See what I mean? Like, can we do this? Oh my god, it's doable, isn't it? This might take a couple tries here. No, that's it. That's perfect. So hopefully, this is what I'm envisioning. Hopefully we have a cargo train that comes out over here, is maybe forced to wait for one or two trains to go by. So we actually get a fair amount of uh, traffic. What a peculiar junction. I love this. And so you can operate it. So you, you can go from the small town, right? And the other way, cargo, the other cargo loop. Because we've got a, um, 
uh, what is that, like a switch? What's the word I'm looking for here? It's like a double switch. Is it, there's an actual word to that. I was playing Transport Fever. Double slip. That's the one. It's a slip lane. So we can make another slip track like that. That's so cool. Okay. So this now goes in a one-way fashion into the um, the oil. And that just... What? Oh my god. That looks beautiful. Just on its own like that? My god. This is really coming together. Okay. This is great. Working in the small town was a blessing in disguise. I just wasn't planning on working on it. I feel like we just did a lot of... A little impromptu building, but it turned out really beautifully. So that's a nice little, um, little upslope here. Curve in the upward direction, whatever you want to call that. And um, I think this now fulfills the requirements to get trains coming in. And then all we need is just for this to go like right into here, right? And I think that's the train network, you know, kind of kind of set up. There was talk last episode about maybe, and I don't know, right? Maybe putting another station in near the power plant. But I don't know. That just seems like a little overkill at this point now. Okay, let's curve for a little bit here. Beauty. Now it feels like we have a little bit more purpose for the bridge. Because now we're, we're jumping over two tracks. Oh, look at the cargo. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at it. Did one just come in? Did I miss it? No, we would have seen it. Okay, I do want to watch that, though. Oh, this, this is really great. So um, here's the thing. Can we spawn traffic going two ways? No, this is just a one-way track. Good for us. Okay. So if the trains do want to come from one station to the next, they're going to take the long way. Okay, I just... Oh, here comes one. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. So let's pause. I don't know why this is making me so excited, but let's watch uh, watch this one go in. I secretly think that I'm just really playing City Skylines for the trains. And by secretly, I mean not so secretly because we're, we're, you know, you see my reactions. But yeah, it just feels like, you know, when I was a kid, all I wanted was like a model railroad town. I feel like I'm doing that now. Like this is the digital version. Oh, it's not even going? Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, we were lied to. This one's probably coming from the train, train station. Going to the next one. That's still pretty cool, but that's not what I wanted. Okay. Alright, so some stuff has probably been unlocked. Let's take a look and see if anything needs to be uh, improved upon. Actually, I don't think anything has been unlocked. Yeah, so the requirement we're missing right now is um, just workers. We've already made it through the first level with um, production, but just worker bees. Okay, so this does tie in, and we do have enough time. Remember, I was hinting that we'd probably run into um, um, issues with workers here, and we already know that there's issues with workers here. Well, check this out, friends. Let's get something done about it. So I want to say this is going to be a little bit quick and a little bit crude, but hopefully hopefully we can polish it and it'll look fantastic in the end. But what I'm thinking is just a fun little, um, dare I say it? Yeah, let's just say it. Well, a fun little suburb over here. Some of you may have guessed that. You know, how do you solve a, a living issue, right? You put in some houses, of course. And so let's pretend this is somewhere that just got recently built up. It is in, I don't want to say like the most favorable of locations. If you like trains and highways, this is definitely your place, right? But maybe this is affordable living, right? There'd be brand new homes over here, um, like monster mansions relative to the size of the, uh, of the city itself. And you know what would be kind of fun over here too, is if we have some parking zones. Because the ones with the trees, no, um, no vehicles were parked, and uh, we'll park on those. And let's say down here is just a little bit of a shopping. And I might use an asymmetrical road leading up to it. And I feel like this is pretty pretty true for like small towns. You might have a highway that gets converted. At least we do this in uh, parts of Canada. We'll have like a big old-fashioned highway, and we'll have a town that starts to grow around it, and you end up with some traffic lights. So we actually have on the Trans-Canada Highway, which is the highway that goes from one end of the country to the other, there are little small towns like this where you actually have like one or two sets of traffic lights. And you might think to yourself, oh my goodness, how do you have a highway with traffic lights? Well, you know, it just happens. Okay. We'll make that safe for, uh, for in and out And then, you know, it would be really nice if we had um, a little bit across the other side of the highway, too.
Okay, so we can connect this over. And then this can become paved. And then same idea, just a little bit of um, parking here and there. And then these ones I'm going to connect, but I'm not going to put a traffic light. And I'm going to encourage, hopefully, cars to use a stop sign. But they can still kind of get in and out if they need to. You know, I lied. Maybe this one will be um, uh, through and through. Okay, nothing new here. And I think just maybe one on this side. Or it's a stop sign. Just keep the flow of traffic going. And stop signs, you know, I don't really use them too often, but they are pretty cute. Because when you place them down, they do actually pop in. See a stop sign. Who would have thought? A stop signs can be cute, you betcha. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. So let's create a district, because we want to actually do some mixed um, zoning through here. We're going to be going with the uh, European suburbia again. And I feel like the more we use that through the city, the better we'll start to look too. And what a terrible job of making this district. Let me clean that up. Goodness gracious me. Okay, that's much better. Over here, not so much. And I think we just grabbed a node here by accident. There we go. Okay. Pretty close to picture perfect, right? Close enough. All right, so I want to do organic and local produce for the commercial zone. And I actually want to do... Um, oh, this will be a really fun idea as well, actually. Hold the phone. What if we empty this a little bit? And then right here was the organic and, um, not organic, the uh, self-sufficient homes. That could look kind of cool, right? Let's let's stretch that out, actually. Oops, sorry, I don't need you, Oak Square. Yeah, what a great mix this will be. Okay. So just a little bit of high density in the um, self-sufficient zone. I keep forgetting those words. Cool. And then the rest of this. Pull the commercial. Just housing. And then for the district itself, European suburbia. Perfect. And then again, not overly desirable because we do have backyards to the um to the train tracks here, but, you know, affordable housing. That's kind of the theme right here, right? I think this is supposed to be commercial. Okay. And these ones, they should be zoned off the side here, so I think we're okay. And then I'm just going to unzone this because that was uh, not what I wanted. And then the last piece of this pie is we're going to put in some public transit. And I don't think it's busy enough over here to justify doing a metro or anything like that, but we could definitely get a few bus lines going. <clears throat> Still the most satisfying sound in the game. Connecting those pipes up. Okay, so a little bit of um, social services too. Let's throw in a school. Fire station, police station, medical. Nice little combo again. And that's a perfect spot for a tree or two, right? And where's my... There they are. My new favorites. Yeah. Please don't lose the trees. Okay, so buses. I mean, this is really starting to come together, right? Let's put on three-speed, even. 
how about that? Look at this. What a bobbin's zone we got. And then hopefully, when we get the buses going, we get enough people over here that we get to the next level. Okay, so with three speed in mind, let's put in a couple bus routes. You know, for starters, just a simple one over here. So we'll pick up people. It's just a super simple express route. And we're going to go over to this hub. And we're just going to stop right there. And then come on back. And then for our Texas T, black like oil, let's change this color to, um, to black. Perfect. And then now just a little bus route to go over to here. And so this one, I'm maybe envisioning, like the bus comes in, hits part of this, and then maybe loops back around? So that way you can do a little bit of the shopping? Hmm. It's actually a toughie. No, I want to go over here. Okay, so maybe the people over here do a bit more walking than they, uh, they'd they like, but... Unfortunately, yeah, the road is a weird one, isn't it, eh? Especially with the highway. Let's do a pedestrian crossing to help these guys a little bit more. I think that's kind of a fun, a fun way to tackle this. Okay, and then we just go over to here. Let's say, yeah, stop right there. And this will just be like the small town line. Get some classical music. Okay, and then just, yeah, pedestrian overpass to help make this area here be a bit more accessible. And you can make your jokes about eminent domain, right? Expect to take out maybe one house? Uh, hopefully not, though. Here, I'll try to be conscientious about this. There, see? No houses were harmed in the process. This is very, um, not like me. Yeah, I get a lot of eminent domain jokes. You guys notice that? I wonder, I wonder what that's about. Oh no, I think we're gonna lose a house here. Oh, for goodness sakes. This is probably where the jokes come from, right? Okay, power lines before people, right? Or, I mean, people before power lines. That's an interesting one. Do we even need the power line? No, not really. Okay, and then just a little bit of trees, because we really haven't fallen behind, to be honest, with our, uh, our detailing. Let's try to enclose the, the highway a little bit more here. I know we can put the highway with sound barrier in. We might maybe upgrade to that, if people do start complaining about it being too noisy through here, but... A good old-fashioned tree barrier instead, right? You can be clicking like a madman, maybe. And yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to fine-tune the um, the audio, so it might change over the next few um, few episodes. But I really am happy with this new microphone. I think I heard a little bit of electrical interference before, so I'm going to double-check all my wires and stuff. And uh, you guys will note as well, this is a farm area, and as we put more of these trees down, we do lose the ability to um, uh, to farm here. Okay, which is an interesting game mechanic. Okay, so let's turn it down to one speed, and let's survey what we got. So we are in need of more detailing. That's, that's for darn sure. We need a detailing episode uh, coming up soon anyway. Oh, that turned out great, though. A little bit of high density. And I don't even think I applied... No, I didn't even apply yet, right? Yeah, we didn't even apply these guys to this. Okay, so we'll get a small change in the buildings now. And that'll be the green and self-sufficient homes, which will look really fresh, too. Very modern, very new. It kind of suits what I'm going for here. Okay, so let's pop back in. Put on three speed for another another hot second here. And let's take a look at the industrial zone. How are we doing? So here's a train. Is this actually going to come on Come on in? No. Is this too tight? No, you can still make your way in. 
Okay, so we gotta find out why we aren't having trains enter the um, the depot yet. Well, here we go. Here we go. How does this look? Answered our own question. We just had to wait. It's probably happened uh, behind uh, behind our backs. We didn't even know it. So yeah, theoretically you wait. Perfect. Now it's your turn. That's kind of fun. Oh, here comes another one behind us. And let's see what route they take. We may have to change some of the rails around, but we're kind of running out of time today, so that might be uh, something we do in the next episode. Because I feel like we have to run the clock a little bit longer, too, to see if we can get this to the uh, the next level. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's bypassing it. Oh, interesting. It's not stopping there. Oh, I like that. Okay, that was good. That's exactly what we were looking for. Maybe no changes are necessary. Oh, fantastic. Okay, that just that was great. So we say adios to you. And then, yeah, what's, uh, what are we looking like here? Okay, so we have a few more people. Not enough yet, though. And the goal is we have people move in here. Hopefully they'll take transit to their uh, nearest location and either get to work this way or get to work this way. And because we've now connected this on up, they can also try to work too, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, guys, let's, um, yeah, let's leave it off here. Nice little start to the small town. Still putting that on hold, though. Fixed up over here. Great suggestions. Thanks, guys. And a uh, nice little roaring area. Starting to come together. Got some traffic. Stretched its legs a little bit. I think it makes sense now for the size. Seeing the trains. Like, man, what a difference, eh? From the start of the episode till now. Very good. And uh, we will unlock very big buildings. Like the um, Factories DLC stuff. Um, Industries DLC stuff, as you know, is huge. And um, even bigger when it comes to like, oil refineries and stuff. So that'll be really cool to fit over into here. The refinery might have to go into this spot. Okay, and that'll all tie into the small town with a little bit of harbor, which may not actually be used for seaport stuff. I don't think we can reach it. It'll just be decoration. Anyway, so much to do, as always. But yeah, let me know how the microphone sounds. We'll see you again in the next episode, and uh, we'll get to that faster. Okay, guys, adios. Happy building. Look forward to the comments, and uh, you take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated.